We've talked about the do's and don'ts of keywords and how to put them into your app profile in the Apple App Store. Now let's talk about, well, what keywords do you actually use? Um, before we jump into that, let's learn the terms that are necessary to figure out the process of determining keywords. So you have the actual keyword or the term, that's what people are actually searching for in the App Store. Those are the words you're trying to find. There's difficulty. So difficulty represents the amount of other apps that are competing for this term, for this keyword that you're looking for. Then there's traffic. Traffic shows the search volume that um, the amount of people looking for apps based on this keyword. And then finally there's rank. If you have an existing app in the App Store, you can see how you rank in the list of results based on this keyword. Somebody inputs this keyword, where on the list are you? Are you number three? That's your ranking. And to figure out these, um, the metrics behind these terms, um, there are a number of tools. Personally, I use Sensor Tower. Um, it's, been, it's a great tool. I know there are a number of other ones that I haven't used, um, but that's the one that I use, and I find it to be great. So now that we know the terms, and now that we have a tool to use, let's talk about the actual process. So number one, you're going to want to get a list of keywords. Now, if you don't have any keywords yet, the simplest way is to look at your competitor. So find an app that you, um, that's doing something similar, that's performing well, and use the tool that I mentioned above. Um, use the tool that I mentioned earlier to uh, research the keywords used by your competitors. Grab that list and then tweak those, make that relevant to your specific app, add extras for features for customizations for your app, and then let's start analyzing these keywords. Ideally, create a spreadsheet and in each column, you note the different terms that I, that I mentioned before, your difficulty, your competitiveness, and your ranking. So now that we have these keywords, we go into our tool and we research the score for each one of these pieces. Once we have those, then we look at the keywords that have the highest level of traffic for the least amount of competition, and those are gonna be our keywords that we're gonna use. We take those, we upload those into our app profile, and we launch our app, and we see how they perform. Now, once you do get that into the App Store with those keywords, be patient. It's gonna take at least a couple of weeks to see how you climb. New apps tend to perform better for keywords, so let the market settle. There's also lots of um, changes, volatility in the, in, the, in the app market, such as trends, seasonality, um, algorithm changes. Just be patient, monitor your keywords. See how they're performing, and now the last step is to swap out ones that are underperforming. If you're unable to get in the top 10 rankings for any of your keywords, um, consider dropping them. Drop them and, and replace them with another keyword that has good traffic, that's easier to compete, um, has less competition for. So keep doing that, rinse and repeat, and eventually you'll have the perfect set of keywords for your app profile.